Thank you, dear colleagues. There are more Facebook users in Europe than there are in the US. And the social network might be based in the Silicon Valley, but it's active worldwide. And therefore, it also has responsibilities all across the globe. And I've said it before and will repeat it again. Mark Zuckerberg has to come to the EP to answer our questions. And a simple apology will not do and will also not do if the commissioners now start to travel to the US and ask for audiences very nicely with Mr. Zuckerberg. That will simply not do. And of course, it's very worrying that one single tool can be so dominant on the market. And all of us know it can be a very annoying tool with all the ads and all the weird groups that you're being added to. But it's also, and we all know that the best way, uh, probably the only way where you can stay uh, in touch with most of, the, of your friends because they are there. It's also the only place where you can share cat pictures with your grandmother. Nowhere else could you possibly do that. So we stay there. And despite the dramatic data leakages, despite the ads, despite all of that, we keep spending and wasting our time scrolling down our timeline. Facebook has become for many in Europe a necessity rather than a nice option. And that also means that Facebook has a huge responsibility and so far, it has shied away from taking up this responsibility. It has ignored even most basic data protection rules. And that must be over once and for all. And it's our duty as European legislators to make sure that our citizens and their data is protected. It's our duty. They have put the trust in us and we need to comply with that. Thank you. Cool.